from the Triple M Studios. Oh God, it's all happening. This is the Marty Sheer Gold Show. Triple M. Here it is, the full show dump from Triple M. Marty, where have you been walking today? I've been uh, walking today. Tokyo today. Yeah. I love Japan. Yeah. Spent a little bit of time there, not a lot, but enough to know that I that I love <laughs> the people. Yep. yep. I love their little uh, booze houndishness. Yes. Yeah. Um, they haven't sort of conceded to the world of uh, English speaking sort of fawning over the rest yeah. of the planet. And no, I love very, that. Very They're different. Like, They're great here. fighters. Yeah, yeah, you come here, we're not going to talk your language. No. I love those little bars where there's just two or three seats. I've just walked through an alley like that. I, yeah. When, yeah. when I was there, I went into one of those little bars Did and, you? and, and, uh, and uh, there was a gentleman smoking next to me at the time. Of course. Mm. Yeah. And I was quite, well, it's Japan. Yeah, I was, I, I was okay with it. Yeah. Okay. He ran out of cigarettes. Oh. oh. And the old woman who worked behind the bar, who was in her 80s and still smoked, mm. lovely woman, great chat, lived yeah. upstairs, owned the bar. She gave this gentleman her own packet of cigarettes. Uh, that's oh, that's wow. it. It was stunning to see. Wow. Stunning to see. Generosity. Oh, yeah. That's the Japanese for you, mate. Mm. If you can keep, keep, if you, don't worry about no, that bit. Yeah. yeah. yeah Never believe that bit. Very clean. Just, so clean. Everyone takes clean. their rubbish home. Yeah. And very polite. Clean. So polite. Yeah. One of Great. my favorite drinking experiences of all time was in, I think, is that Piss Alley? Hmm. Yeah. Well, it's called Golden Alley or something, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Oh. God, it was so fun. Wasn't and it there fun? was a bar where there was a guy with, a, I would say, a thousand CDs behind him, maybe more, two mm. to three thousand CDs. Mm. And he's like individually just like thinking about songs and like, oh, I'll find this. He's, he's spinning tracks. He's spinning tracks. And then oh. he catches on that we're Australian. And then eventually we just, we notice after like the fourth song that mm. he's just playing Australian songs. Mm. It's like choir boys. Oh, spinning cool. around <laughs> into like in excess, <laughs> into choir boys. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, yeah. Australia, Australia. And then you just end up chatting. And then the guy knows this guy. Oh, I know somebody went to Australia. We were in some so town, fun. like I, yeah, I could remember it if I thought about it, but I can't. And we went to this bar and it wasn't open, but we were sort of looking at the door. Mm. And then the dude comes out and he goes, you want to come in? We go, oh, mate, you're not open. He goes, that's okay. It was like four o'clock in the Arvo. He wasn't opening till eight. Oh. oh. And we just sat in there, the four of us, and drank and wow. chatted to him until he opened. He That's lived upstairs wow. as well. It's almost like full capacity for people. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> Unbelievable. And it's worth opening, you know. Yeah. We're spending a lot of money. Yeah. 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 A lot. A, 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 a lot, lot of money. <laughs> you know, because we've all done really well in life. <laughs> <laughs> Top shelf. <laughs> what do you got on Insta, William? <laughs> oh, jeez. I was still reading this last message. No, I don't. Yeah. That um, you went in for what and you found out what? Yeah. Uh, Blanche Dubrah is someone that we have Dubois. Heard. Dubois. No, but Dubrah is, is the, the guy. actual. Yeah. Oh. oh. It's a guy. Um, but he is sending a proof of pod because he's traveled from Perth and he is in the middle of bloody nowhere. Look how remote this joint is. Where, um, is, where is he? Have you heard of yeah. Kate Preston? No, I haven't heard of Kate Preston. Hang on. Um, hang on. Here comes Blanche. Uh, so it is like picture where... Desert just meets desert for the next like thousand kilometers. Oh, wow. What is wow. he doing out there? Be careful, Preston. Wait, what's his Where's name? Where's he going Blanche. from? Blanche. From Perth to where will you say? Preston. He's going Perth to Cape Preston at the top of WA for work. Make oh, sure you've right. got fuel and water. Wow. I'd be too scared to stop the car in oh. case it didn't start. Yeah, yeah. I know. I watched a really scary movie of these tourists that get stuck. And they just wander off the road for two seconds. Yeah. And then you're lost in the desert. Yeah. Like no, oh, yeah. you'll you never stay with back. the car, mate. Yeah. Always it's the golden rule. It'd be around forty-five degrees there at the moment too. Yeah, like the oh, temperature man. up there this time of year is insane. Stay oh. with the car yeah. until you can't be bothered, and then just have a wander and have see what you find. Yeah. It looks like yeah. a lot of fun. Blanche, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he does He'd be look, a fun he guy. Looks like a good time. He looks heavy. <laughs> he works out, I think. Mm. A bit of titty there. I think it's muscular. Oh, <laughs> well, he knows what I'm saying. Titty Boomba. <laughs> Speaking of WA, we had Billy who yeah. heard us talking about Aristos and Aristos's yeah. waterfront in Bunbury. Bunbury. Oh yeah. And he said I had to make a sneaky visit. No and way. He sent through the uh, the pov of him outside of Aristos's waterfront. Let's have a look. Oh, I right. said, did you go in? And he says, I have been in. It's really good. Yep. Just driving mm -hmm. past yesterday, I had to get a photo. So well done. Oh, he's is really it... selling the Aristos oh. brand. The it... the food would be excellent. I think. Yeah. What does Aristos actually cook there, or is it just oh, does he just own it? Does. No, no. Aristos yeah, he will be there. That's why you'd go. If sure. you work. 
in the pots and pans. Yeah, hope so. For sure. Yeah. Sometimes he comes out onto the floor and says, hey, hello, ladies. <laughs> well, what do you got in your handbags? I'm going to cook it up for you. You've got a tampon. You've got a lipstick. You've got a $10 note. You've got your set of keys. I'm going to make you another lady. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh! Thank you, another lady. Is that what you said? <laughs> Full seafood platters, Marty. For two hundred and sixty-eight bucks, giving them away. We have to go there. <laughs> Fish and chip brew. platter for two hundred and twelve dollars. Seafood chowder. What do you reckon Aristos's creamy seafood chowder tastes like? I like it'll seafood be chowder. It'll yeah. be it's so got Milo. Good. It's got pineapple. <laughs> 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 it's got passata. <laughs> it's a beautiful creamy seafood chowder. You put in the fish fingers. <laughs> <laughs> it's got potato gems. It's got a friend of mine, Gary's. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Half Gary's luck. Gary, got? stop <laughs> into the chowder. Five to 25 calories, we found out. <laughs> five, five to seven. Five, five, to, five, seven. To, five to seven calories. Yeah, we're Googling that. We, we, looked looked we were interested. We were curious. Yeah. Why were we curious? Mm. Oh, oh, news story from Margot. Mm. What's yeah. this? Yeah. No, this is an email. Oh. News story. Nutella and Pizza Hut team up. Wow. Oh, wow. Jeez. For a Nutella stuffed crust. Are you just Yum. reading press releases yeah. on the podcast N- now? N- what Nutella is this? loaded cookie. Oh. oh. Cookie. Oh. Mm. You say? Cookie, I say. <laughs> this Australian Flirt Idol's still on. Yeah, yeah, it's coming back, I think, isn't it? No, it's, it's, been, no, it's been on. on. It's it, been we're wearing the well. guts of it. Apparently oh. this season's not bad. Really? Right. Yep. Mm. I haven't watched. Oh, it's Transformation Week, Matthew. Uh, oh. On Max? Right. No, no, no. On Australian Idol. What are they transforming into? Uh-huh. Um, would I thought we it was be, just about Sydney. The opposite sex. Would we be interested in trying Cadbury's Easter range? Of course. Yes, Troy, don't lie. Do you want to know what they've oh, got? I yeah, I want to know what they got. It's really good. It's like loading. <laughs> <laughs> it's loading. loading. In no. the meantime. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm. Bubbly mint bunny. Nah. Cadbury Pascal clinkers Easter bunny. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, because then we can guess the clinker. Um, oh, boy. Sour Patch Kids one. That's like they've got collaborations with Natural Confectionery. Mm. Yeah. I think we'd like to try them. Yeah, absolutely we mm. would. Mm. Noah has a room tour from Caesar's Palace in Vegas. Oh, this is brilliant. Oh, okay. yeah. We stayed there, at the Venetian, didn't we? Yeah, the Venetian. Yep. Together? No, <laughs> no, separate, separate trips. Separate trips. <laughs> Both been there. Here we go. This is Caesar's Palace. Oh, yeah. Straight, straight up and down. Nice coffee table. Nice. Okay. Sideboard. Mm. Couple of bags there. Yep. Carpet. Mm-hmm. So Is far, it coffee? are you well? Uh, I'm well. Do you know this? I'm reasonably. I'm I like to see the bathroom. Oh, that's a nice... Okay. Mm. Caesar's Palace. Has it got a bath? Got your study in the bath? Has it got a Does bath? It, it... That... It's got a yeah, bath. Yeah, it's got a bath. That bathtub seems bigger than it should be. I like think this is a nice room. It is a yeah. nice room. But Caesar's Palace is one of the legacy older yeah, it's, hotels. It's slightly there. Yeah. old, isn't it? Um, it look, not I'm like, not it's old. not like wind. Are we yeah, getting a look at the view? Vague. It looks old money. Oh. Yeah, it's. Uh, Are you going to have any good views in Vegas though? Like that's my question. Yeah, you do. Yeah. The Venetian, you look straight out on that range. Oh yeah. Without all that yeah. highway in front of you from memory. Thank you so yeah. much, Noah. But I'm not sure I love that room. Mm. Look, I thought the room itself was okay. Yeah, the building mm. is a bit old though. Why yeah, so hotel about... room carpets always so ugly because they've got to last. I think it's yeah. I think it's hiding a lot of sins. sins. Mm. Yeah. Right. I see. Okay. It's got the big pool at the front. With the dancing flamingo. So that's, that's, no, that's, the, it, um, that that's the that's the Bellagio, I believe. Oh right, I found yeah. it. Oh, the Caesar's big, Harry. big pool. The huge, big yeah, pool. That, I had yeah. lunch sitting next to that. Did you? Yeah. The big fountain with the water yeah, show. Yeah, we were guests of Vegas tourism. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was. Yeah, mm. that's the way to do Vegas. It really was. <laughs> yes. <So> if <laughs> if any, you're gonna go to Vegas, do anyone, it that way. Do it as a guest <laughs> of Vegas yeah, yeah, tourism. Because they're gonna give you the great experience. <laughs> yeah. And one of the dudes was like a failed, and I say failed only because it's an emotionally charged yeah. word, a uh, baseball pitcher. Oh, oh right. I can't remember who he was playing for. Yeah. And he was a bit of fun. I remember that. Mm. Mm. Um, Jess has sent through Tommy. This is Tommy, a delicious little four month old who, for the first oh, time in his life. Tommy. Oh my gosh. Four months for the first time in his life, he can see. Tommy. Oh, he underwent mean? cataract surgery last week and he's he? fitted with contact lenses today. Jeez. And he's watching the podcast on YouTube Stop, with I'm the big cry. screen for the oh, first time. Oh, Tommy. Tommy. Have a look at his Man. outfit. It's Such a great they, outfit. 
he had cataract surgery. Yeah. At four months. Fitted with is that contact lenses? That yeah. sounds very That's like rare. a laser thing. Yeah, cataracts is. Yeah, it's usually an old person's thing. Yeah. Oh, bless him. Though. God love him. Look at him. And he's look watching the him. podcast. He's never been happier. He's like, look yeah. at these people. They're my new best here. friends. Wow. And he's got his little um, one piece on that oh, covers his fingernails so, so he can't scratch his eyeballs yeah. out. Oh, my God. Yeah. He's really cute. Yeah, he is. Cute. Oh, little Tommy. He is oh. very cute. Good Tommy. luck in life, Tommy. Tommy's a cute name. Yeah. yeah. Um, Lily. harder than you think, mate. He's already had some hardship. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't even know it's hard. Start. Wait till he's eating baked beans in Coburg living with a stripper. <laughs> that's hard. <laughs> Male stripper. Personal. Yeah, that's hard. Parts of that are hard. Uh, Could be eating nothing. <laughs> Not with Brucey. <laughs> <laughs> There's always a meal on the table. <laughs> Five to seven calories. <laughs> <laughs> no, ca- carb fruit. <laughs> that was her stage name anyway. <laughs> Lily has sent through the adults' oh, yeah. happy meal. She went and oh, got it. God. Here we go. Well what done, what are these called? Kerwins or something? I saw this the other day. Yeah, they're like the I, I don't know what the that toys. Is. Yeah, the, the Kerwin Happy Meal or something. Yeah, they're like. Oh, a, so what is that toy? It's like it's an old school thing like they've a, brought back. That's like the Kerwin oh. Frost Box. The Kerwin oh, Frost Box. He can take off his afro. It's like a little potato head. I think it's a potato. Huh. What's oh. a Kerwin Frost? Kerwin um, Frost Box. Is this an American? Oh, it's thing? a DJ. These are in Australia. No, these are in. They've been okay, in America. What else? For is there any time. other different ones? There's heaps of different of these. So you don't ones. have to get. To, when you order, can you go? I want the Kerwin Frost Box, please. I think that's. What I it, think that's mm. what it's. That's what it is. Oh, Nick but got the same one yesterday. The actual Nick toy. got the same one yesterday. Oh, what if one, one day you one. woke up as a McNugget? <laughs> it says. Oh, I thought you were posing the question. Yeah, no, geez, that's <laughs> deep. That is a really yeah. interesting question, Troy. I, I suppose don't know William what... would eat me. Oh, oh God, He'd I eat would himself. dip the yeah. shit out of you into some barbecue sauce. <laughs> dip and sauce. Oh oh. Dip and sauce. Remember that function we had where the guy from programming came up and ate all our nuggets? <laughs> wasn't even Remember the what? fat guy it from programming that came invited. up? Wasn't even invited. Oh just God. appeared invited. behind me. No, I knew he was behind me because the sun disappeared. <laughs> okay. Like, oh. What's happened here? So there's all these little <laughs> different ones. Everybody, these are called buddies. Mm-hmm. Each mm-hmm. Frostway character comes with a unique set of accessories and you can swap pieces with friends to curate a truly original outfit. Oh, there's oh, the um, McNugget Buddy Hype Man, which mm-hmm. is a, a That's you know, every Frost. DJ needs yeah. a hype there's man. There's Uptown yeah. Mo, the locals, local of Frostway. Wafutu, the princess of positivity. That's me. <laughs> Don <laughs> Bernice, who's the wise and witty stylist. That's that- who our mate got. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Brick, self proclaimed cool guy. Matthew. Yeah. And Darla, the lead singer of the Frostettos. Oh, this is excellent. I think characters. we should we should probably get some adult happy meals in here. <laughs> we probably should. What do we reckon? Yeah. All right. Maybe. Matthew? Available after ten thirty AM or can uh, you get a free? No. Meal? No. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that one? He looks like a finger. <laughs> No, so yeah, you could take, be me. They all do. <laughs> you take their wigs off. Keep mm. moving, guys. Yeah, I told trying. you. Twenty no. past twelve. <laughs> We're getting bogged down in adult happy meals. Yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got to go to the, a plunge pool, and I've forgotten. I got a meeting at ten. What's your meeting at ten? <gasps> Here's Ryan Fennell yep. and Uh-oh. the inspired Noni, who is called Nina. Yes, mm. I do. Nina, and this is the inspired Noni? Yep. Yeah, I do. I remember this one. This is fun. Nina the Iggy, pre-named by the last owners, but it's so close to Noni it that really it's a full is. coincidence. It's tipped us over the edge to commit. I Has thought... Nina got a broken tail? Oh. It's like a bit curly oh there. Gosh. A bit wonky. Nina's got like yeah. a piggy tail. A bit wonk. What's happened to Nina's tail? Yeah, there's something not right about the tail. Um, they can break. Oh, yes, yeah. they can. Ow. Yeah. Nina mm. is beautiful. Nina, Nina is, is really she's sweet. She's not Noni. But they look about the same size. No, no, no. no, no, no. Similar age? Uh, I think Similar Nina's income. Younger. <laughs> <laughs> same one. Super distribution. Oh, no, nah, you no. stopped. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one thing to that. <laughs> um, we've enjoyed a few of these. Craig has sent through uh, Marty Goldberg and Sister Act. <laughs> oh, this is fun. <laughs> that is so good. And of course, Dr. Harry Cooper mistaking you for, for Marty, Marty Goldberg. Goldberg. And mistaking the whole segment that we have with Larry Emder. <laughs> not only got my name wrong, but confused two segments. Confused Larry, and that's not easy. Walking around Bondi squirting people in the mouth. <laughs> Larry was like, what? Larry's what are like, you what? talking about? No, no, no. 
<laughs> uh, this is fun from Luke Gavin, one of our favourites. Um, got a great one for you, mate. Perfect for the pod. I was mm. playing around oh, with... Ryan oh, Shell. Oh, okay. no, sorry, 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 Luke. He, what's <laughs> he talking about? about? Shush. His podcast. Uh, the Imperfects podcast. They're doing a national tour. Gee, he looks good, he doesn't does. he? He does. He looks ageing backwards. They're doing a national tour. Do you think that's a communal workspace or do you think that's Ryan's house? I think that's his house. Shall we turn it off? Mm. But European shutters, is that what they're called? Yeah. No, plantation. Plantation, plantation yeah. I'll see it. I'll see it. Say it. <laughs> they asked me to do that podcast. You should, you should do it. Nah. Okay. Why not? It all feels a bit too personal. Yeah. They it's pretty personal. very revealing. And, yeah. Is it? And once I, rea- I, and I had a couple of chats with them about it, and once I realised how sort of, yeah, personal it is, I just thought. When did uh, they ask yeah, you? Yeah. Ages ago. And I just thought. That's not really your thing. No, it's this not. This is the Game Changers one. That was very personal. Yeah, but that was work. Mm. Yeah. This delves into your private life right. and your state of mind at various times. Mm, you're and, not ready for that. <laughs> well, I just don't think that's a chat. No. Well, you for me, yeah. no. I think it's a chat for, for other people. people sure. Absolutely. Yeah, I think that's personal. You should have joined me on the Gay Changers podcast. That was heavy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about when Danny Layley and I got together? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well... What did Luke Gavin Luke, say? I was playing around on the listener app after the recent update and oh. I thought I'd have a listen to the Mighty Sheer God show, a cheeky preview mm. that aired on Friday the 15th of January 2021. Okay. Oh, no, I don't like this. I hate this. this is the first thing. live show, I'll try and summarise as best as I can. Yeah. So the first show was the 18th of Jan. This is the 15th of Jan. Yeah. And it's called a cheeky preview. I've got it here if we want to GST or Why don't you want to hear it? Because it's the first thing we ever did so as that, a practice. I think no, it's just Marty and Troy show. No, it's us. We're in it. Yeah. But we're not. Luke we says, Marty and Troy are very excited to be doing a podcast. Marty asks if podcasts are forever and is amazed that someone could be listening to this in four years' time, <gasps> which Luke happens to be. What are the chances? What wow. are the four chances? Years. Four years' they, time yeah. now. They were 20 minutes when we first started, weren't no, they? This, or no, this isn't even that. This is like before the show even started on the Monday. Mm. We did ah. like a. Um, this is a 23 is a, minute clip. Yeah. That was programming oh. good dudes. Yes. Yeah. Telling us that no one will listen to a podcast over 20 minutes. And I said, yeah. oh, well, what about Joe Rogan? <laughs> yes. And they were like, what do you mean? I go, well, probably the biggest podcast in the history of the world goes for about two and a half hours. Yeah. And that was the silence it was met with. <laughs> <laughs> we were allowed to do we that. We replicated it perfectly. People, people just talk. Yeah. yeah. They, they just make absolute stuff up. <laughs> Look at us. We're chatting. They just go, just, oh, you can't, yeah. people won't listen to a podcast over 20 minutes. What are you basing that off? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Your limited experience of starting a new business in podcasting mm. where you've come out of radio and have no idea what you're talking about and had no idea what you were talking about when you were in radio because <laughs> you'd never done what any of us do. Hey, that person had. No. Yeah. I'm not talking about him. All oh, right. Who are you talking about? Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> let's just keep moving. Matt doesn't want to beep anything else. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I suppose it doesn't matter. Oh, I <laughs> we used to back on the KFC app. Oh. <laughs> it just sounds like isolated fat shaming from Troy because the top three at three yeah. does not make the no, podcast. No one will hear so it. Oh, yeah. So that wasn't part of this? No, no. it'll be a video, though. Video, right? That was one of my oh, favourite Also, you still oh. back on the KFC <laughs> app, are you? Troy. Yeah, it does sound pretty brutal without context. <laughs> How many food apps do you have? Got them all. All of them? Yeah. Got them all. Hang on. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> so much water in your mouth. Lauren's become the Bellagio. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's the spa in here. Shamoo's arrived. <laughs> oh my God. That oh my was God. like. It's like my soda stream machine. <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> Is your 10 a.m. meeting, does it involve a, a dress w- code? wet t shirt competition? <laughs> oh what a day for your bra not to work. <laughs> Damn, my bra strap on. It's giving the, me a headache. The day after you spilt oh. all that coffee down there, <laughs> your light well is just a swamp. It's like a moat. I actually missed it. It's I like missed. my ass at the F1s. Oh. 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 Full day in the paddock. I missed oh. a lot of my desk and I just got my glasses. Oh, oh my God. This is my disaster. <laughs> so, yes, what food apps do you have, Matthew? Do you want me to go through all of them? Yes, yes, yeah. yes well, I've got Dan Murphy's. Is that food? Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Food yeah. for the soul. Uh, Deliveroo. <laughs> Valet. <laughs> food oh, for the soul. Arsal, uh, DoorDash, Guzman, yeah, uh, KFC, uh, Macca's, Macca's obviously, yeah, yeah very popular member, Starbucks, 
Subway. Yeah. Subway app. What are you Uber getting the Subway app for? You can order ahead, so it's already ready for you. So oh. you don't have to oh. stand there and talk to them through. I want yes, tomato, lettuce. All right, okay. <laughs> very okay. Yeah. No, that app is really good. Um, Do you have pizza ones? Domino, I'm, I'm surely. Not, I'm not yeah. a big chain Crux? pizza guy. I no, go to the you're, local ones. You're what about desserts? Guy. Do you have any dessert ones? I'm not really a dessert guy, but really, what well, you love a jammy dodger. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> sure, there isn't a jammy dodger app. Well, so you I should make one. I should. <laughs> Get under that. Oh, my God. All right, that'll have to do <laughs> us. We're not going oh, to improve this. It is a full show oh, done. My God. Get in touch any times or Insta at Marty Sheargold Show. It's wow. Triple M. The Marty Sheargold Show. Hello. Available on the listener app. Check it out. Do yourself a favour. Catch up anytime you like. There's even some extra bits. Sounds like an Sorry. OnlyFans page. Triple M's <laughs> Marty Sheargold Show. Just search Marty on the listener app. Oh, you dirty mm. old bird. Back end of the podcast. Hopefully you enjoyed that full show oh, dump oh, wow. from Triple M. Are you dry now, Loza? <laughs> no, I'm freezing. I'm covered in water. Yeah, <laughs> had an incident early on, which oh, we've not heard about. Oh, wow. Uh, get in touch any time through Insta at Marty Shugold Show. William, what do you got? Thank you, Troy. Uh, from Dunny. We were just talking about the uh, Blanche yes. who was in the middle of WA. Well, we have another one from Dunny who oh. says, look how hot it is today oh, where I God. live. This is N- Aniba. Uh, Aniba? N E N E A B B A. Any other? It's 160 south of Geraldton. Oh, 160 yeah. south oh. of Geraldton. Oh, so between Perth. Yeah, okay. Um, so it's about so three hours north of Perth driving. His weather app said it's going to have a high of 49 degrees that day. Oh, oh, oh that's revolting. Temperatures in Western Australia at this time of the year. Oh, my God. Uh, it's crazy. unbelievable. Yeah. Um, and a really dry heat, too. Yeah. And you can't even Strive swim in the water because you'll get eaten by a shark. Yeah. yeah. Indian Ocean. Is there crocodiles? There's no crocodiles. Yes, there. Well, up near Broome there is. Is there? Yeah. Jeez. And that and that far Shh, north. Really in the middle of nowhere there. Mm. Yeah. Real no thanks territory. Oh my gosh. Mm. Nah. Sea snakes, stingers. Yeah. You forget yeah, how huge that co- WA that is. That WA coastline is it's massive. I mean, it's I mean, it's obviously probably slightly longer than the eastern coastline. It although is, the yeah. uh, it goes out and then comes yeah. back yeah. towards Darwin, mm. and it's it's a third of the Australian. Landmass, I think. Oh, it's huge. Of Western Australia. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Look it's at the close size of it. It's like enormous. Western Australia. No wonder they're pretty much their own country over there. They just, mm. it's gigantic. Yeah. yeah, but a lot of it's unlivable. I know. I know. Yeah. No one's living here. No, I wouldn't no. have thought so. Well, if they a, are, they got no teeth. There's a massive wrestling event coming up in Perth, like, mm. and and WWE at the moment is like enormous. Are you saying we should go? Well. I'm saying that ticket sales are currently struggling from some reports. The Elimination Chamber. The Elimination Chamber. Oh, well, let's get them going. Because it's so far away. Perth is so remote. You're not going to Perth for an event. I I would have gone if it was in Sydney or Brisbane. I actually would have flown. Sure, but you're not going to Perth. It's four and a half hours one way, and then magically it's like three hours 15 on the way home. You've got to make it a thing. Yeah. Yeah, It's a fun fact about Perth. It's the most remote uh, capital city in the world. Yeah, of any certain other size. Really? Yeah, it's, it's in the middle of nowhere. So far yeah. away from anywhere else. It's other a beautiful than city. You know, it I is. love going to Perth. Yeah. I've been there quite a lot lately. Yeah. Mm. Um, I love it. It's it, really beautiful. Yeah. It's just a long way mm. for one thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And the time change too at this time of year is about three hours from the East Coast. Mm. Mm. If you're listening in Perth, get to the Elimination Chamber. It's going to be sick. Oh, that was one of the longest Fridays of my life. Remember, I flew directly to Perth and then was on stage at nine... PM, PM, yeah, which really effectively meant that I was going midnight. on stage at midnight. Mm. Yeah, after you'd been up at four AM for work. Yeah, yeah, and God. travelled. Yeah, that's that's. Didn't I smash big. some schooners after that? <laughs> really throw my body clock into chaos. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like a Taylor Swift yeah. day. I had a full Taylor Swift yeah. day. Yeah, and I f- Travis Kelsey that <laughs> night as well. Travis, <laughs> Travis, Travis. <laughs> that's his brother. <laughs> uh, Dunny, who sent that <laughs> shot from uh, from the middle of nowhere in WA, also said, catching up on the potties as my daughter gave birth to our first grandchild. Oh, oh, wow, look at her. Happy, healthy little baby girl called oh Willow. Gosh. Willow, look at the lips. Yeah, she's cute. She's Willow, cute. she's well done, Willow. Brand spanking. Brand spanking. Mm-hmm. I love their tiny little yeah. nipples that are just. I like, know, <laughs> I know. They're so <laughs> Not cute. even they, in anything. They just go back into their yep. little chubby chests. I know. Yeah, cute. 
Uh, so cute. This eat, is. I could um, eat that forearm easily. Oh, yeah. A yeah. bit of tomato sauce. This is really hectic from Chris. Mm. Uh, he went in for a sore throat, mm. came out with a uh, Chiari malformation, C H I A R I mm. malformation, which resulted in brain surgery. Oh, my what? God. And then look at the scar required for Chris to bounce back from brain surgery. This is like a hectic back of the noggin. Oh, oh my God. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh. Went in for a sore throat and came out like that. That goes from in between his shoulder blades to above his ears. Yeah. Oh. That's got to be 20 centimetres long Easy. and full staples. You'd yeah. rather they cut your hair a bit better. <laughs> yes. At least if you want to say, yeah. if that's the end result, yeah. do whatever you want to my hair. That's oh, right. mate, you've left my hair looking silly. Oh, mate. Game? You good? Oh, wow. <laughs> Bloody hell. Obviously, that was... Joe Bailey's not working here this summer. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Bailey. Joe Bailey, I love it. Good news for Chris. I was 11 years ago and he's all good God. now. Okay. Good. Wow. So, what is this Chiara? So, Chiara, it's a part it's like of a, the back of your brain. Part of the cerebellum. Oh, it mm. looks like it comes down onto your spinal cord or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, large. Jesus. Holy Jeez. hell. That's like All a... of that gear up there when you get into the top end. Yeah. No. Nah. You uh, really need an expert. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> not, <laughs> so someone who knows their own surgery no, stuff. No, no. <laughs> no. Not doing that in the garage. <laughs> no way. No. Uh, Matthew says, hey, guys, saw the big Mason on Saturday night at Swifty. Oh, he yeah. was well above anyone walking on the arena yeah. and not many people were recognising him. Oh. The only people that I saw were the supporting dads and partners who yelled out, Coxie! Coxie! Yeah. 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 Offering yeah. AFL tickets, I just feel like it's a bit... Yeah. The people behind out. you aren't going to care. Yeah, and you'll yeah, get but it's also, it was. I can't explain how many teenage girls were there. Oh. And just in general, women mm. who, you know... My, it was it was like a different audience to one I'd never seen. My Instagram yeah. has been flooded, mm. like everyone. Yeah, I know. every second post I see oh, too is the same. People that went, with, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, yeah. 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 the response was unbelievable. Was just unbelievable. What yeah. are your thoughts on? Because people now are talking about people that are going to every show while people couldn't get tickets at all. Oh well, it's first oh, in best dress. Yeah, I think it's fine. Go for it. That's a, that's a super fan. But yeah. I even said I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I mean, I would have enjoyed to go. Like I would have. Uh, appreciated going, yeah. but I would feel bad taking a ticket from someone who really wanted to be there. Mm. How do you think I yeah. feel? It's a 53 year old man. But you really, mm. really, really enjoyed it too. I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I feel the same about grand finals. I, I don't. I think I that f- should be for teams only, yeah. your own team. Hang you on. Went to the, you went You're saying year. no neutral supporters at grand finals. I'd never been to one. <laughs> <laughs> Not like these Super Bowl guys that go every That's year. That's interesting. Yeah. No neutral supporters at grand finals. I think it's a great rule. I think, it's, I think it should Chemist be the Warehouse rule. wouldn't love it. I Why think, not? Like, they're still selling their space and stuff. I yeah. think there could be yeah. areas like that, but mm. very limited. And the rest of it, like if you are not a fan, why are you going? And you're not. But, but we have oh. no. Because it's an event. It's an event. And your mean, answer like, to that? Because it's an entertainment event. Rules for me, not for me. It's very yeah. hard to get tickets to the grand final as it is very hard to get tickets to Taylor Swift. Yes. I don't know how you would get repeat tickets to Taylor Swift. People did. I don't know how they did. I, I know. They must have just dedicated yeah. hours and hours. Days. Just to, in that queue system. Wasn't I mean, if you're prepared to do you that. To totally. Exactly right. If you're yeah. prepared to go to that effort, because that's an investment of time. Yeah, oh, totally. totally. Yeah. And it would be a lot of time. And money. Yeah. How long did you and Lockie sit online to get my tickets? An hour and a half. Wow, and really? that was with a very special link. That wasn't like... Yeah, that's wow. not just... That was a, Until now. That was a friends list. Yeah, friends. And that was an hour and a half with yeah. that link. Imagine if you're just Monday morning 9am-ing oh. it. I oh. had to do the same thing with Coldplay, like whenever that was, a couple of months ago. And that yeah. took an hour or so. Didn't you get... With you the link? The with the link? Yeah, that was the link that I used. I got them in two seconds. Yeah, mine took forever. I'm so excited for Coldplay. Mm. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Coldplay. I've never seen Coldplay. Me neither. Mm. I'm very excited. Coldplay's I, great. I, I hope so he doesn't good. full fair trade it. You know. I watched oh. his. We when on our girls' weekend the other day. We watched like five years worth of Super Bowl performances, and the, the one he did with Beyonce, the oh. Indian Spice one, so good. This is yeah. and Bruno Mars. It's, it's brilliant. Underrated. Yeah, yeah. It mm. was just. I think it was just perceived as a bit naff, right? Because he was dancing like a weird. Spider at points and he's not a good dancer. No, yeah. no. Well, <laughs> a bit of the Hutchinsons about him. <laughs> as it turns out, who in the world mm. 
<laughs> but yeah, Bruno does his bit and he's got like yeah. cool backup dancers. Yeah. And then Beyonce does her cool bit and then they come together and then Chris Martin kind of. It's not a dance. I know. Like, oh, so it's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. He's just yeah. left the coleslaw at the trestle yeah. table. <laughs> What's going on over here? Look at <laughs> you two cool guys. Was, Dancing's not his strength. <laughs> who decides who goes together first? Like, because we were watching yeah. it, it was like there's Katy Perry and Missy Elliott. Like, oh, we're like, really? Yeah, well, and we're like, production who does people this? And, yeah, but do you think yeah. it's the leading artist? Do you reckon Usher goes, oh, well, if you've offered me the job, I wouldn't mind doing it with Alicia Keys and, yeah. and, and maybe Will I Am, he's an old mate of mine. Maybe, but Katy Perry and Missy, like, there's, sometimes they're just two people doing two performances that just for two seconds Doesn't come together merge, at the start. Yeah, yeah it was like Rove and Sam Frost. <laughs> it's like, how could you ever put those two people in a room? She loves this podcast. Hi, Sam. <laughs> Out of nowhere. <laughs> who picked that team? We know who. No longer with us. Uh, there's plenty of teams like that. <laughs> Don't even start me. Uh, you started you. <laughs> yeah, you started <laughs> <laughs> Don't start me. Start me up. <laughs> uh, Di wanted to point out that old mate uh, Chris, who is a two-time loser on three-way now. Yes. Um, poor Chris is stitched up. If he didn't know pesto ingredients, how was he going to know paella? It's <laughs> <laughs> a good point. question. Yeah. It's a really good point. <laughs> so sorry, Chris. Chris is in trouble, mate. Fingers crossed for tomorrow. I, I really like him, though. He's, he's nice. He's not got an answer yet mm. in two games. Uh, no. no. It's quite a rare feat. There's been some very hard uh, questions, though, I think. Last chance tomorrow for Chris, isn't it? Yeah, last yeah. chance tomorrow. Which most pe- statistically... People generally win on their last chance. Mm. Mm. Maybe. Well, I don't reckon Chris will. <laughs> no. I think he might. Uh, this is fun. This is from Critter, who says, Hey, Will, had a cricket tournament over the weekend. The weekend before, the bloke dressed full kit, got out for a dark. He mm. spelt that. He's misspelled that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then Mast Weekend, he meant last weekend, uh, he also <laughs> okay, got out we'll first ball. just read it as it's intended. <laughs> you want me to read it as it's intended? Got no, dressed full intended- kit out for a f- and then Mast Weekend, he got out first ball. Nice. <laughs> intended, nice. Not as it's written. What does that mean? What are, anyway, why are we discussing this? We've got a backyard cricket pitch here. Look oh, how fun good. this is. I love a backyard Ooh. cricket pitch. Oh, wow. Ooh, this looks good. It looks long. Tan bark? What is that? It's, de- it's grass. Dead grass. He's just deadened oh. it. He's, he's, he's rolling it. Nice. Mm. Do you have to mower? kill the grass to make a cricket pitch? Yes. I did not know yeah, that. Yeah, it's effectively um, it's dirt, isn't it? But they have varying lengths of grass that survive on it. Mm. And you'll hear the commentators say, it's got seven mil of grass on it. Oh. And that'll help the seam of the ball grab. Mm. Right. To get more grip to spin. Well, to seam off the pitch. Right. Mm. And also to spin if a spinner's playing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Traditionally, spinners do better when there's no grass on the pitch. Right. Mm. Yeah, um, I feel like no, the ones there's my a local... whole world. There's a whole art in 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 green keeping. Mm. Mm. I don't know how you do it. You roll the shit out of it and yeah. compress it, compact it. But no, how you mine, keep any of the root system alive to have that grass come up through it is it's a mystery. Mm. But yeah, here's the video of. Uh, oh, here's the young uh, fella that Critter sent through. Here's the young fella. Yeah. There it goes. So he was dressed Ooh, nice. full, dressed full kit. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got the zinger bath. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're doing a at our reunion. Oh, and got big shout! Oh, poor boy. First ball, he's got the full kit on. Yep. Out in a duck. Uh, <laughs> did they show his second dismissal? No, that was that was the follow up one. That uh, sounds fun. Poor bloke. Uh, finally, from ba- Budgie, who has been sending through some wonderful, yep. wonderful content. Yep. The smuggler. Um, the smuggler. <laughs> smuggler. Uh, first of all, this is Marty as Aristos. <laughs> so this is this is elite. This is actually it looks <laughs> elite. Like, it looks like AIs, mate. Oh, my, like, God. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God! Wow! <laughs> it's a Ray Gruber shot, I think. Yeah, I've got hair. That's great. Yeah. I've got a star. Or well, maybe I have to start growing that again. Who knows? It's all right. I told you it was in the upfronts, Marty. Marty, mm. you're reading <laughs> dental appointment text. No, I it was wasn't. in the upfronts. Ma- Matistos <laughs> was in the upfronts. Yes. What do you mean? The fact that Fisk is coming back was in the ABC upfront. Great. Yeah. Okay. Well, I got to start growing my hair yeah. again. Yeah. And then this is uh, <laughs> Budgie's artist impression of you drop kicking Matthew from the other side of the desk, <laughs> which again is very funny. <laughs> 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 Lovely so I think we might that put them so up. We should put good. that up on individual, individual posts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get in touch anytime oh, through Insta. At Hello. Marty Shegold Show. Chat to you next time from Triple M. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs>
Hello. Oh, oh, she said I didn't yes. have time. I forgot. Miss some Marty. Now hang on. Or just want some more Marty in your life. Oh, you dirty old bird. Then get the Marty Sheer Gold Show on the Listener app. Here if you need me. <laughs> just search Marty and he'll be in your ears. That's got to hurt. Triple M's Marty Sheer Gold Show.